Hello my Sagittariuses and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course I'm Debbie and I'm reading for February 4th through the 10th. Now I've done my overview, rev the engines, rev your engines up or something like that. So take a peek if you want to see what's going on in the planets. It's interesting. Always always interesting times that we live in. But remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. All right. So I feel like there's a couple of things I need to do. One is I need to that I need to tell you that um, you're way too busy right now. You've, you're, you keep taking and putting things on your plate. You might need to kind of spread that around and get a little bit of help. I want to tell you that you're doing a really, really great job, except that you keep taking too many projects on my Sagittariuses. Um, again, I keep thinking, I keep feeling like you need to um, spread it around, okay? My Sagges, I love your energy. I love your commitment. You don't have to do it all, okay? It's, and I know that the others can't do it as well as you, but you've got to give them a chance to try. You've got to give them a chance to succeed and or not succeed. But I'm just feeling like it's just so much on your plate, my Sages. Um, cut yourself some slack, okay? How about that? We'll just say that. No more. But except I will say you are actually, you know, you are actually wonderful energies and you are doing such a good job. Okay, that one did not fall out. Okay, and a job what? A job at your work? It could be. Job in your relationships? Yes. I just feel like there's, you know, I kind of feel like the 10 of fire where it's like you've got so much, so much on your plate, so much on your plate. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, let's see what else we might have here besides what I'm picking up. Okay, this is reverse, so it has some stronger energy. Let's see our first card. The eight of air. So kind of similar to what I'm saying, but this also has a lot more breakout energy. So eights basically have unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Air is our Aquarius, which we're in, Aquarius, New Moon, Gemini, and Libra. Pa um, it is, I was going to say, your energies. It is thought-provoking, thought, um, thought new ideas coming in, making some new plans, hearing some news. Um, but I, I really feel it's very much engaging your brain, engaging your your um, your. Your organizational skills, I know it's not a four, but I feel like you're, you, know, you need to write it down. You need to put it together, your plan. The eight of air is about breaking free, okay? But you need to have your plan in order to break free. You like to, you know, my, my sag is I'm not necessarily one that likes to write a lot of things down, but I do find that it does help, um, you know, to keep a good calendar, to keep your calendar very, very clean, to keep your space very clean, too. It's declutter, and it's basically, you know, I, I really just feel like you need to release, release, declutter, okay? So here, this is an illusion of being trapped. It's a lack of self-confidence. It's being afraid to take action. And you remember, I'm always saying fear is one of the tools of the devil and tries to keep you from your blessing. Don't be afraid to be who you are, my Sages. Like I said, you're doing a great job. And, you know, each day may become a struggle, may be a struggle, but you, you go into each day like the warrior that you are. I don't know who needed to hear that, but it was like, okay, I had to say it. Here we go. Next card is two of water. Well, I love the two of water. This is a loving cup. This is a loving energy. Two is crossroads, choices, decisions. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Um, two is also partnerships. Water energy is our Cancer, our Scorpio, it's also our Pisces. And if I, um, the overview had something going on, Neptune and Pisces, sextiling with, with I think, uh, Aquarius. Uh, and so there's going to be some really deep thoughts happening at that time. But this could be somebody comes to help you, somebody comes to love you, somebody comes to partnering you, okay? You will have a choice whether you, you choose to trust them or not. I do feel that, I do feel in some ways they do need to earn your trust a little bit more, but I feel that that will be accomplished, okay? So don't, you know, I'm not telling you to give them um, Herculean, Herculean um, tasks. You know, it's not like, oh, you have to jump 10 feet or anything. No, you know, I'm, you know, let them prove to you that they can trust, that you can trust them. 
I do feel that it, you can come together and they will be a very good partner with you. If you want it to be intimate, it could become intimate. And you know I don't go down that road. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. Here we go. Because there's only so many, you know, love readings are just so emotional. So here we go. But this could, this could be something. Okay, next card reversed. The page of air. So the page, page is underlying energy because court cards to me have two energies. One is what the underlying one is. Page is earth. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, money job, career, home energy. Air energy again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, thought processes, thinking things through. Making some plans or hearing some news. These are This is about challenges coming. A page is also a messenger. Um, so you could be getting a message that's a little bit on the challenging side. It does not, even after I just told you how filled, filled uh, or full your plate is, this does not mean that it won't be an exciting message, okay? That it won't be something that actually tweaks your interests, because I think it, that it could. It doesn't mean that it's going to be given. You're going to, again, there's going to, just as I was talking about whoever had to work for this, work for your trust, you're going to, you know, you're going to have to put your energies and some of your work and your thought processes into this. It could be that plan I was telling you about, too. So the page, it's, you know, enthusiastic, is going to go after this. It's not necessarily an easy, easy road, but it's not, it's not something that you cannot handle, okay? It could be, um, to put it simply, it could be a promotion, where they're where you've been actually doing the job and now they want to get they want to knight you and they want to give you the honors that come with the job and even though you've been doing the job you might have a little self-confidence issue with it like can I definitely my Sagittarius says yes you can do it okay anyway page of air is logical honest impulsive and curious challenging information delays are changed to plans truth delivered without tact so very blunt speaking and you'll you know blunt speaking might hurt your feelings a little bit but you'll appreciate it too and you can be a little bit blunt at the same time okay okay let's see what else we have so that's an interesting it is an interesting week for you there is a breakout you're going to break out um again that two of water gives me a really you know let them earn your trust a little bit you don't have to just run into the relationship if it is a new relationship or if it's a resurgence of a relationship, or it's a relationship that might have grown a little stale, it's okay to let them um, earn you a little bit, okay? To earn your trust. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Ah! Well, that one popped, didn't it? Okay, let's see. Come on. Here we go. Let's go on. That one flew. Ooh, so this is authority. This is a major arcana card. We have four which is stability, organization, and leadership. This is authority. This could be that you are put into authority. Maybe this is something that you have to do. This is, um, you know, like for, what did I say? Stability, organization, leadership. This is getting your papers together. This is you stepping up and stepping into the plan. Or this could be somebody who is going to work with you to help you through this. I don't find that this authority, though, is somebody that challenges you. I feel like this is you stepping into this, okay? So this could definitely, there could definitely be a promotion um, or, you know, a promotion in your future. And, you know, you might be called upon to do a little bit more. This is emperor energy, um, masculine energy at the same time. So let's see what we've got with our other cards. Okay, so very supportive energy here, though, too. So... Breaking free, um, challenging position, challenging news, so very supportive, um, and supportive person energies around you. You stepping it up, stepping it up, my Sages. Okay, let's see. Angels of Abundance, what else do we have here? What else? What do we have for our Sagittariuses? What's there for our Sages? Here we go. What other good news for our Sages? Reversed. Words of abundance. I love this one, if, I, if I'm remembering it correctly. Words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. 
always describe your work, your own and the world's economic situations in loving and optimistic terms, and that is what you attract for yourself and others. So, you know, this is where I like to just say thank you, God, for meeting my needs. Thank you for providing, a, you know, a roof, I, and I hope that everyone has that, providing some safety. But Lord Jesus, God in heaven, whoever you want to pray to, please, Please, I know there is more for us. I know there is more for us. So I open my arms to the best life that you want for me. Okay? I receive. I receive. Okay, you say what you're going to say, and you say it to whoever you want to say it to. Okay? That's the thing about us. I Everybody has been placed in their own position for a reason. Okay, let's see what we have. What crystal or energy do we have for our Sagittariuses? What do we say for our Sagittariuses? What do we say? And then again, with words of abundance, always say thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Crystal or energy to carry with us. Angel of change. I think, did somebody come up with this? Let's see. Orange calcite. Okay, this may have popped up. Again, if you see cards in another reading, if you cross-watch, re cross you know, that's validation for you too. So orange calcite. Are you experiencing major changes that are challenging your emotional state? Trust in the process of change and honor your feelings. Take the time to balance energy. Pay, at pay particular attention to the health of your nerves, bones, and muscles. Okay. Angel of change. I embrace the changes occurring in my life. I recognize that all changes bring better life situations. I am grateful that the energy flowing through me is in balance. I have a strong physical structure and all parts of my body feel good. Now that's not always easy to say because not all parts of my body feel good, but I, I, I will still, you know what, it's better than a lot of others. So angel of change and sometimes you might want to use that as a mantra with the new moon especially okay so we talked about the new moon in aquarius open up to change i don't know if i talked about it or not but i am now and bring love into the situation <clears throat> so let's see what else there is for my sagittarius's what else do we have for my sages what else do we have for my sages any what else what other moon message for our Sages. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Okay. New moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. Wow. Wow. That's a, that's that's a good that's good for you, Mike. Sagittarius says focus on the positive. Whew. All right. So do me my favor now. Please go and like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It does help, and I thank you so much. If you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me too. As always, my Sages, always know, always remember that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.